Welcome back, everyone. Well, as we we're uh, going along here in our book, this is going to be kind of a short one tonight, but um, we're going to do a five series one, and we're into the 1940s, and this is like the start of the, the um, 1940 Famous American series. I believe this is the first, no, this is like the second page in. The first page was American Authors. And then we have um, the 1940 American Poet one. So I thought I'd like uh, share that one with everybody and kind of give you an idea of like what um, stamps were back at that time. Well, for commemorative stamps back then, we have a one cent, a two cent, three, five, and ten. So they were all over the board, but still it seems like ten cents was the most penny still uh, being out there. And kind of looking back, um, they got all kinds of ones that are one cents here coming up and everything. But I'll show you more of them when we get them and everything. But uh, let's get started with the first one here. It says this one is a bright blue green, which I think it's more green. But I'll let you guys see it when I do it here. But anyways, this is Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. It honors a popular 19th century poet whose father hoped he would become a lawyer. The Song of Hiawatha and The Courtship of Miles Standish are among more of his notable works. And there's that one right there. And again, I'm just trying to, you know, keep the glare. But they say that's like a, they say that's a bright bluish green. I think that's more, I think that's more green than anything. But that could just be me. <laughs> All right, our next one is a two cent one. And that Longfellow one was one cent, so just so everybody knows if you wanted to know. This one is a two cent one. This is John Greenleaf Witter. It's a rose carmine. He's a U.S. poet best known as an author of Snowbound. It's a narrative about farm life during New England winters. And that's him right there. And that's two cent stamp. Our next one is James Russell Lowell, three cent, bright red velvet one. He was a US poet, critic, and diplomat. Lowell helped develop interest in literature throughout his writings and teachings. You can see that one, three cents. Our next one, Ultra, ultra mar, marin, marin, whatever, I guess I'd say blue. I mean, <laughs> but anyways, it's Walt Whitman, five cents. Pictures, pictures the U.S. poet who built houses and sold real estate before publishing Leaves of Grass, his famous collection of poems. And there's that one. I gotta say, that one they call it a ultramarine or whatever. I guess I, I say blue. That's to me. That's what it looks like. But and our final one is ten cents. It's a dark brown, and it shows James Whitcomb Riley. He's a commemor he commemorates the U.S. poet who is famous for his nostalgia dialect verse, and who was known as the poet of the common man. And there's that one right there. I try to like I say I try to. Get some of that glare off from the lights, but you can see that one. And like I say, and this was the um, this was the American poets. This is this is from nineteen forties. And let me let me just kind of give you everybody a rundown as to what they all have in here. Um, the first one was American authors, and we just did the um, American poets. We have the nineteen forty American educators. 1940 famous um, American scientist, uh, 1940 uh, composers, American artist, American inventors, and then we just go into the uh, regular one page of 1940 commemoratives. So like I say, even even the regular what I'm just looking at right here, um, most of the 1940 commemoratives are they look like they're about three cents a stamp. So if I if I had to take a guess, I would say probably back in the 1940s, 
they were probably, like I say, at most maybe three cents, three cents a stamp or whatever. But, but um, so we got that one done, and we'll get it in the book. And then our next one that we have probably coming up in the next video. And I'm, and again, I, like I say, I'm trying not to bore um, everybody with a lot of the stamps. I'd like to do something else, but kind of waiting for this. Um, kind of waiting for this. Uh, one to open this mine mine you know bricks and minifigure one so kind of hoping that one opens pretty soon it is well, actually it's supposed to open next uh this coming or next saturday whatever the day it is today um so like i say not too much longer and we'll get on to something else but but i think the next one we'll do it looks like it's a 17 stamp one it's of 1962 and um Looks like that should be an interesting one to uh, try to. So, all right. Well, this is just a shorter video. Like I say, nothing too long, nothing too fancy. But um, thanks for watching, everyone. And you know what to do if you're new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. And if you could, you know, if you watched it till the end, please give it a thumbs up because it helps to get the video out there to, you know, maybe more people who like stamp collecting or just like, you know, fun things in general. So, all right, everyone. Well, stay safe. Take care. See you next time right here. So, see you later, everyone. Bye.